Yes. So uh, it's been around ten years, eight years since I had my uh, first moments of discovering what could potentially be a battery, uh, a solid state battery that runs forever for a phone. And I remember finding uranium, plutonium, and thorium, and some other uh, materials on the periodic table, and thinking it was too dangerous to play around with. But I still made a video about it a long time ago that you can see. Uh, now, uh, I had uh, another thought of how to make them uh, with uranium crystals may lead to safer nuclear fuels. So the way uh, a, a solar panel is made is made by uh, powder carbon and powder quartz crystal. Uh, that's melted into a plate and then there's mounted aluminium uh, uh, on it in a, in a multiple crossway there's multiple crosses uh, T in a T shape but it's crosses of aluminium uh, that are then connected together and then create voltage when the sun hits it and also a little bit of voltage when it doesn't hit hits it when the quartz crystal vibrates from the heat of the sun. So I've been told that this uranium crystal keeps heat like uranium does, uh, uranium metal uh, keeps its heat. That's why they use it in a nuclear power plant uh, because it um is reactive more than 100 years and creates a lot of heat more than 100 years and can make water boil because it becomes so warm when water is on it so it's said that the uranium crystals that are the sulfates from the uranium uh, metal uh, also create heat but i'm not sure because it doesn't say so what i can read but i think it's the truth so it's got to be this uranium crystal that you see got to be mixed with quartz crystal. They got to turn it into a powder and then it's got to that could be with a with a metal sander or else they know uh, uh, another material that they put on it. So it turns into a powder and then it got to be mixed with quartz crystal, just like carbon got to be mixed with quartz crystal to make a solar panel. But this uranium got to be mixed with quartz crystal only. And then they got to be turned into plates that then uh, get uh, aluminium foil on top on the bottom. Or it gets aluminium foil in a multiple cross uh, on top of it or on the bottom and the top of it. And then it creates electricity. Uh, and if it really is 25 degrees, like I'm told, uh, then it creates a lot of electricity because it makes the quartz crystal vibrate constantly. Uh, so it's a very reactive cell that lasts more than 100 years, maybe 1,000 years, maybe it will even last more than 10,000 years uh, before it breaks down and have to be remade. And maybe it will last even more. But maybe I'm being told wrong. Maybe it, it doesn't keep warm. Maybe it's got to be... Uh, uh, plutonium or uranium metal that got to be used in a battery and I don't know if it's safe so I don't want to build them myself so it's got to be absolute experts in safety about uranium and plutonium uh, to see if we can make a battery that lasts forever a solid state battery that lasts forever out of the crystals I always believe it's got to be made out of the crystals uh, but it can also be made out of the metal it's got to be figured out how it can be safe and then it can make uh, cars runs forever, uh, phones runs forever, and uh, anything with electricity will be ever will be able to run forever. And then we just gotta go from uh, brush engines to brushless engines. Brushless don't need the brush uh, changed out because they're better made uh, with the magnetics and the coils. So then. Uh, we will have a safer 
world where everything is more economic. And uh, I, 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 I'm not going to patentize it. I'm just going to see who figures out on my YouTube channel, Windsurf Lives. And then we'll see if the person will just keep it secret or keep them for themselves. Or if they will actually share it with the planet uh, so we can all enjoy uh, life a little bit more.